Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll show you how to enable a remote desktop protocol on Windows Server 2022. RDP is a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft for connecting to another computer with a graphical user interface over the network connection. An RDP client software is used on the local computer for this remote connection. The remote server is required to run the RDP service. The default setting for remote desktop protocol in Windows Server 2022 is to disable remote desktop access. But this can easily be turned on. RDP service can be enabled on Windows Server 2022 from the PowerShell or through the Server Manager Console interface. So let's press Ctrl or to delete key combination to sign in to this Windows Server 2022. Type the administrator user account password and press enter key. The system logs on the administrator user account and the Server Manager Console appears automatically. On Server Manager Console, click on Local Server. We can confirm that the RDP is currently disabled on the local server. Remote Desktop and it is disabled. To enable it, click on Remote Desktop Disabled button. On System Properties window, you will be on Remote tab. Under Remote Desktop, we need to select this radio button which says Allow Remote Connections to this computer. You can also see one checkbox is selected to only allow connections from computers running remote desktop with network level authentications. To add remote desktop users who has the permission to connect to the server using RDP, you can define it here. Click on select users and as you can see, administrator already has access of it. But suppose if you want to add any other specific user whom you want to grant the permission to connect to the server with a remote desktop, that time you can add here. Uh, let's click on advanced. I think we have a one user named Rachin Ravindra in our active directory. Yeah, it is there. Let's select. Click OK. OK. Now uh, that user is successfully added there. As you can see, uh, Rajin Ravi has the uh, permission to connect to the server using RDP. OK. So this is how we can define other users as well. After granting the permission to that active directory user, now on System Properties window, I'm going to click on Apply and OK. Now we are ready to connect to this Windows Server on TCP port 3389 using RDP Client. To test this, let's go to a Windows 11 Client computer and search for Remote Desktop Client. We'll have the default tool available on Windows 11 computer named Remote Desktop Connection. Here, you just need to specify the IP address of the remote server which you are connecting using RDP. In our case, the IP address is 192.168.96.11. So let's enter the IP address 192.168.96.11. Click on connect. It is asking us to provide the user credential. So after successful connection, it will ask us to provide username and password for authentication. I'm using the credential of our domain administrator. It is saying that it is securing remote connection. And uh, once the connection is established successfully, you will see one certificate related error as well. Uh, it is not error, but it is warning that the server is using self-signed certificate that we can see from here as well. Okay, this is a self-signed certificate. Click on yes to accept it. And now we are on our Windows Server 2022. We are connected with remote server using a remote desktop connection. Now you can work on remote server just like you work on your local computer. And if you want to minimize this, you simply need to click here to minimize it and you will be back on your local computer. And if you want to jump back to that server, that's it. So that's the end of this lab guide. See you all in the next lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this.